What's up, everyone? Let's get straight to the point, shall we? So today, I'm going to show you how I made this. So this is the pre-chorus and then chorus. Feels ah. good, right? Okay, so I want to get to a very specific point. So I'm going to stop it right here so I can get to what I'm trying to say today. Oh. But today, guys, if you fill out a survey form that takes four minutes, we're going to send you $100 discount code for the next courses that we're going to release up to a year. So please check it out. Okay, so today we are going to focus on this guy, right? So this lead sound is what makes this song. So how did I make this lead sound? Well, actually, guys, it comes from this loop here. So I'm listening to the sound and I'm like, oh, this is kind of cool. I can work with this. So what I did is I chopped it up. I sliced it. I chopped it and I grabbed a part that I liked. I believe it was this guy. And from this guy, I basically play my nose that I wanted to play in and without the processing it sounds like this see how this sounds so now with this melody I did a bunch of processing like uh, this guy and then the driver and then some distortion some delay Add a little attack to it. Uh, vin what is this? Room reverb, hall reverb, and then the kickstart to make it pumpy. Okay, so here is a very interesting point that I want to make. Uh, so instead of using that loop that we found here, right? I'm chopping it up, playing a different nose, but I'm not using this melody for only this part. Check out my intro right here. Same idea. But I'm making a filter. So I'm making this melody as my intro. And then from my intro, verse. But not only that, look, look what I'm doing in my pre-chorus section. Again. See how this guy is in the back? You see that? So I'm using the same melody in the intro, but making it different. And then verse. And then look what I do for the chorus. This is the interesting part. Two, three, go. Ah. Oh. See what happened here? It's the same melody, but a different sample. One shot sample that sounds like this. So with this, now I process it, so sounds like this. And I use the same melody that I have here to here. That's why, although this section sounds so different from the chorus, uh, uh, from the verse, it still makes it very unified because of this one lead line sound. Now, there's another trick that I'm using. Look at my uh, bridge section right here. Now, here we go. We're going to the 
bridge. Okay, so what am I doing? So I'm basically using this melody here. But in the bridge section, because I'm loving that groove so much, instead of uh, copy pasting this here, I'm just taking out some notes and making it even more simplified. Like this. Stop. Then playing. Stopping it again. Then playing the whole riff. Okay, it doesn't stop here, guys. With the same melody, I am making this very last chorus section right here, and it goes like this. Okay, so what am I doing right now? So I have that same melody that I used in the verse which goes like this and i'm doubling it now with this uh, chorus riff that i have which is the same note but it has a different sample and different sound and i change my bass into this instead of my chorus which was 808 heavy you see how Using one sound, you can come up with a riff, but you don't just stop there. You utilize the same riff and you switch the sound around in different section. But not only that, you can change the note around in different section. So from one melody idea, you can create a whole universe by making different sections. And yeah, so very last part basically goes like... Check out this stop right here. Yeah. Ending. Wow. That was so cool. Hundred dollar discount code we're giving away for whoever signs up for a four minute survey so check it out in the description below how was this uh, tutorial i hope it was helpful make your melody unique and make different sections of your song unique by twisting your melody by you applying three different rules number one change the sample number two process your sound Number three, grab a different sound underneath it and combine it together. That way you can achieve many different variations with the same melody that you have. All right, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.